What makes Haikyuu appealing? If you haven't seen it, hopefully this video helps convince you to watch the show. Now is especially a good time since the next episode won't be coming out until July. Now, volleyball isn't a sport that I follow actively. If you asked me to list my top 5 favorite sports prior to winter break, volleyball would not have made the cut. If you asked me to list my top 10 sports, maybe it would have made the cut. Maybe. Point being, I knew nothing about volleyball, and I had no interest in it prior to watching Haikyuu. The first time I watched Haikyuu was actually in December of 2017. I was at my friend Caleb's house, and we were watching it with his sisters. I couldn't escape the feeling that it seemed a little ridiculous, and over the top. But it planted a seed in me then, that maybe, just maybe, volleyball was actually pretty interesting. Fast forward two years later. I had recently went with my friend Austin to watch our women's volleyball team play against another ranked team, and I had to admit that it was really interesting. So the next day, I was at my brother's house right before I was going to head home for the winter. When looking through Crunchyroll, I impulsively decided to give the show a try. And since then, I haven't looked back. From a purely technical standpoint, Haikyuu checks all the boxes. Its animation is stellar, capturing not only how it feels to watch volleyball, but how it feels to be playing it. The angles and camera work give it a consistently exciting touch, and the soundtrack is composed by Yuki Hayashi, who has also composed the soundtrack for My Hero Academia. The sound design only serves to escalate the show to another level. Haikyuu digs into the mechanics, complexities, tactics, and strategies of real-world volleyball, much like other shows apply to their power systems, making for believable matches that only serve to increase in complexity as the viewer's understanding of the game of volleyball and what it takes to win increases. Sure, volleyball is now incredibly interesting to me, but the show has changed my mindset and outlook for the better, and I can really give it no higher praise. I'm not a huge fan of sports anime. While I did take a look at shows like The Prince of Tennis, Slam Dunk, Kuroko no Basketball, and I Shield 21, none of them drew me in quite like Haikyuu, which drew me in from its opening scene. Very few other anime do such a visceral and realistic job of dismantling a dream that someone at the age might be seeking after. That despite all the blood, sweat, and tears one might pour into something, all of that can be for naught when faced with an insurmountable obstacle, like someone with far superior talent. I got this feeling a lot when I was a kid because I was the youngest sibling of three. I was smaller, not as skilled, and I didn't have the same amount of life experience. So, when we would play something like basketball, my older brother was an insurmountable wall that I just couldn't compete with. One of Haikyuu's best themes is how no player, and subsequently any person, accomplishes anything without the support of others. The view from the summit, if you will. This concept applies to nearly everything in life. In volleyball terms, a superstar spiker, or ace as the show calls them, is useless without a competent setter to get them the ball. In the same way, I would not be the person I am without the support of many extraordinary people, people who reached out to me and guided me through my greatest joys and my worst moments. And we all have those people. People who refuse to let us give up, who offer us advice, who celebrate our greatest moments, and pick us back up at the worst of times. And Haikyuu does a brilliant job of this concept, in a way that is relatable, relevant, and makes me grateful for all the people I've had around me in my life. From the most minor of characters, to our protagonists in Hinata and Kageyama, every single character in the show has some way of supporting another, some way of inspiring, encouraging, or helping readjust their mindset. Hinata and Kageyama are one of the foremost examples of this theme. Apart from one another, they are both unique individuals and functionally impressive but when they are put together, they achieve heights that they couldn't have dreamed of alone. I didn't play on any team in high school. Sometimes I look back on my time in high school and wonder what have might have happened if I had joined, or at least tried to join, some sports team like basketball or football. 
Granted, I don't think high school me would have ever come to that conclusion. High school me was far too afraid of failure. Too afraid of seeming vulnerable or of fitting in. And I'm not sure if I would have the same drive that many of the characters in Haikyuu have. A lot of shows are often about the physical limits that a character might have to overcome to reach their intended goal. And Haikyuu does have a few of these. But most of the time, it consists of the mental hurdles they have to overcome. The chains that they put on themselves. And few things are more satisfying in the show than watching the characters overcome these mental blocks. It may be about volleyball, yes. But the trials, struggles, and challenges the characters face are wholly human ones. Struggles that you or I have. Now, other shows and anime do this as well. But in my experience watching many different types of anime, I have found that no anime has done this quite as well as Haikyuu. Some of us might have had a severe setback or failure, and can't find the confidence to move forward any longer. Some of us might be locked in an internal struggle of comparing ourselves to people, whom we believe have far superior talents, lamenting the fact that we weren't born extraordinary. Some of us might be struggling with passion, direction, and control, wondering why we still play or do some of the things we do when we don't feel like we can contribute or change the outcome anyway. These are all things that I've struggled with at length, and I'm sure many of you have too. I legitimately cannot say that I dislike any of the characters in Haikyuu, and that is very rare in any show or circumstance. And I think it's that goal, that goal of self-improvement that really enables this. Training arcs are often a large part of any anime. They often show the main character and his allies to better themselves in some way. What Haikyuu does extremely well is showcase that these incredible feats that the players pull off are the result of hard work, training, and repetitive movement. Not just because they have some secret inbred talent, not just because they're the good guys, or just because they're anime protagonists. One of my favorite quotes of all time is one that many others also like. Talent is something you make bloom. Instinct is something you polish that anyone can create or bring forth a talent if they try and give it proper care, and that anyone can sharpen the things that they already have an affinity for to make them shine. Haikyuu makes these heights seem achievable. That hey, you could feel the way that Nishinoya feels when pulling off his rolling thunder, or the way Bokudo feels when he spikes, if you just put in the hours to work towards it. The things these characters pull off are within human bounds, which is something that cannot be said for a number of sports anime out there. And what's more, there's such a wide mix of characters accomplishing these heights. The characters are real. Not everyone can have boundless positivity, endless energy, consistently be in the zone, or possess an iron will. It's the mix of their personalities and how they play off of each other to secure victory. One of the things I enjoy Haikyuu most for is its ability to make me feel bad for the losing team. To clarify, anything with a competitive edge is guaranteed to have a winner and loser. And even though the high school team at Karasuno is the team we're rooting for, the team with our main protagonists, watching Karasuno or the team on the other side taste the bitterness of defeat is a strangely odd feeling. Haikyuu often invokes these feelings for me because it shows that the other team has done everything and worked just as hard to earn the victory, just like Karasuno. They may not be the team we're following, but they have dreams and goals too. Dreams and goals that have been delayed with a loss, or ended outright. But they don't let these things stop them. And therein lies Haikyuu's greatest strength. Introspection. Characters are constantly reflecting on themselves, who they once were, who they are now, who they want to be in the future, and the heights they want to reach. In order to do that, they have to accept failure, gain confidence in their abilities and their teammates alike, and continue moving forward, regardless of their talents and limitations. From the most minor of characters to our protagonists, to the entire team at Karasuno, and beyond. There is a reason why so many kids have been inspired. There is a reason why so many people who had no interest in volleyball, like me, are now fixated on it.
and there's a reason why my outlook on people and personal mindset have matured significantly. If you haven't seen Haikyuu for yourself, I hope I've gotten that reason across to you today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.